Maria Benan MP and this is Sailing Yaba, where we get to share a dream boat being rebuilt. Thanks to simple tools, ancient knowledge and an amazing team of carpenters, our once wrecked schooner is being brought back to life. going to be the little hatch here for the chain and that's going to be fit under the beams on each side and the uh, windlass will be fastened onto those but anyway time to varnish quickly because I want that to dry before I can go over it again tomorrow starboard side has got a nice thin layer on it should suck up quite quickly maybe I can even put another layer in today this is where I started it's looking nice and shiny see the woods already sucking up in some areas I didn't show you the before so I've done it all the way yeah, nice and shiny but the before looked like this this rough very very dry and that's why I'm going over it with varnish because the rest of it is protected with the tarp but these areas aren't so I'm really trying to take care of those the first parts of our benches are coming together this part is just the back bit which is going to prevent anything from falling down the side and then from then onwards we can start building more to the edge where your knees are going to hang off to make sure all the hatch is nice and watertight and where the hinges are going to go so that's just the first step because that had to be no matter what and then we can start looking at the design a bit more we have a design in our head it's going to be like a traditional sailboat you know where there's like a slightly raised piece all the way around the hatch and the lid actually closes around it but we're going to try and see how we're going to do this with wood and plywood and maybe some epoxy and see how it all works uh, that's the next step. So I was wondering why all these pieces of wood were being pushed through this hole to where I am now to the neighbors, which is like a steel boat company. They just do all the big welding. And I was like, what? It's like wood and it's just disappearing. I have no idea, but turns out we're using this, uh, I think, table saw here to cut a little gap in the middle. So to make the hatch be able to close watertight and I know that's going to be very difficult for me to explain especially for me to explain I'm really bad at explaining but we'll let this happen and then we'll show you later on what it's for
Before we move on with this episode, don't forget to stay tuned because this Wednesday we're going to post an episode at the same time as every Sunday's video, except it's going to be a little bit different. So don't forget to stay tuned and watch this video on Wednesday because it's going to be quite cool. Isn't that right, Captain? Ahoy! Ele abandonou também a, a, a profissão dele, que é tornar.
All the little watertight canals have been made and measured out so they're all fitting and now they're actually all being nailed together with epoxy between where the wood's touching wood so it can glue as well and water doesn't get trapped anywhere and later on it's all going to be sanded down and it's going to be covered with a layer of epoxy as well to make it like completely watertight if water does end up getting stuck somewhere if the boat's tilted one way for a long time or something like that so I think this is looking amazing. It was a plan in our head for a long time, but we didn't know exactly how to do it or what was going to be needed for it. But with the guys in the shipyard, uh, who came up with the, uh, the execution of the idea itself. I think it looks amazing and they did a great job. As you can see, I'm running up and down the ladder today trying to film the best angles for you. So if you're enjoying the content, please subscribe, give your like, it's free for you and it means a lot to us.
guys, as you can see, we have a bench. This is amazing because it's cozy. I know it's just wood for now, but it is our saloon getting back to its original shape. And that really, really, really feels awesome. And on the other side, we still have this to go, but follow me here. That is done already. Of course, it's just the rock cut. They still need to adjust it. We still need to treat the wood and everything, but it's already taking shape and this feels great. <laughs> noise here at the bow and I think someone is working hard as well to get the deck finished. How's that going? Hi. Okay. It's going fine. It's looking nice. It so, will look nice. That before after? Yeah but I still need to sand this so yeah. We've got some spare discs there. Anyway I'll leave you here. Let me know if you want your headphones to listen to Taylor Swift. Definitely want them. <laughs> so after some sanding here in the deck, I saw that some holes still needed to be filled up because you could see that there was a little dip. So I called Ben. Ben was doing some last lathe work. Hopefully, we'll see. And then he came with this epoxy resin and filled up the holes. And now it's looking good. Hopefully, soon we'll have a very nice sanded even deck that we can varnish at the little grains that will make it not slippery. Have a All the lids of the lids of the benches slash storages are now ready so there's the plywood on the top it's fastened onto you can see here the handle so this is going to be on the outside like so so you can lift it all we're doing now is we're adding the little frames the little uh, edges around it let's go in here because one's just been done over here very very small little edges to prevent any of the water from falling inside the storage so that's being epoxy glued on and nailed we're going to put them all to the side so that then i can sand them nicely with a really low grit and varnish them with a pu varnish to keep them nice and protected from water like literally all around before we start even thinking of fastening them onto the hinges and same for this i've just been filling up you see here we have filled it with uh, epoxy resin but there's little dips in them so I've been topping them up as well over here on the insides with the uh, epoxy resin with sawdust now of course that's gonna have to dry and then sand that off and then I can PU varnish all of that these lids are done even that one in the corner and all these here there's gonna be a little gap left in between them so they'll be they won't be rubbing against each other when they open and close or because the resin the varnish might be a little bit thick so the last piece is here actually it looks a bit rough at the moment it's got lots of little uh, epoxy and sawdust hiding the nails this is actually just holding that last piece down so it can dry 
it is dry so that can go in and we're bringing them in because they're still just plywood and little pieces of other wood so it's not gonna work well when it rains right now so we're gonna put them in the shelter here uh, they can only stay out once they've been varnished a few times so they're really waterproof and protected from the sun <laughs> Thank you to our new virtual crew members. Thank you for joining us on Patreon, Stefan, and thanks for donating. Webfront Design, Paul, and Brenda. Oi. Excuse me. Very special episode.